Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how you can destroy the mercenary convoy for the interceptor challenges on MWZ. Completing this mission will complete tier 2 of act 1 and will also reward you with a weapon blueprint and some much needed XP at the start of the game. Upon destroying the convoy, you'll also be rewarded with a mercenary stronghold keycard which has some very valuable items in such as a 3 plate which I found. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Once you spawn into the game, I'd first recommend completing a couple of contracts and getting your gun to tier 1 pack a punch as the enemies are mostly tier 2s. Especially if you're going to be running around like a headless chicken like I was, running in solo to about 12 enemies with guns is not ideal. But once you're fully equipped and ready to go, you want to take a look at your attack map and look around for an armoured vehicle that's moving around the map. You'll notice that most of these are running on an anti-clockwise path. I'm not 100% sure if this is what all the convoys follow, but this is what I did and this is the quickest way that I found one. With that in mind, you want to be going clockwise around this outside road that seems to loop around the entire map near where these armoured vehicles are. And as you can see in the gameplay, three convoy cars spawn in and they all start shooting me. Obviously, you want to be killing the mercenaries that are around the convoy and you'll find that the leader who is marked by his name will drop the key card. You want to pick it up and that part of the mission will be ticked off. You'll notice that the destroy mercenary convoy isn't ticked off straight away. It seems it's a bit glitched at the moment but if you stick around and kill zombies like you see I did on the gameplay eventually it will tick off and you can move on to the stronghold. And you'll notice that the strongholds are marked on the map so you can find those pretty easily. Once you're in there you need to drill the safe. You'll be getting reinforcements gunning after you while you're drilling the safe so make sure you're staying safe and don't get down and lose out this loot. Once that two minutes is done you'll find yourself with some very decent loot. For example I got the fortress key card and I also found myself a nice little three plate armor vest which would be very useful at the start of the next games. Once you've fully looted you want to make your way over to the fortress that's also marked on the map so it's not too difficult to find but I will warn that going into this solo will be very difficult if you don't have at least a tier 3 gun and a three plate vest. And I say that because as you can see in the gameplay here there's turrets all over the site you'll also have to infiltrate the main base in the center which has a lot of highly geared enemies. Once you've done that again you'll be rewarded with some high tier loot and from there obviously if you want to you'll be able to exfil. Anyway that's going to be it for this video if you did find it useful and enjoyed it make sure you drop a like and subscribe and turn on notifications for more tutorials coming very soon thank you guys once more for watching and until then i'll see you on the next one peace out